Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my paper is on the effectiveness of triple therapy in this thyroid neuropathy, a retrospective study. No financial interest. So why DON is important? Uh, I've got a 64-year-old male, retired driver, hyperthyroid presentation, was a chronic smoker, status post intravenous medal prednisolone. On examination, right eye, no perception of light, left eye, perception of light, fundus, both eyes showed optic atrophy. Uh, he refused orbital decompression after listening to the uh, complications and side effects and finally he committed suicide. So as we know, this thyroid optic neuropathy is a serious complication of thyroid orbitopathy with incidence of 5 to 8.6 percent. Early diagnosis and management is essential to prevent blindness. Various treatment modalities has been described with a variable success rate but no definite protocol for the management of this thyroid optic neuropathy. So in this scenario, we did a study to determine the efficacy of combined modality treatment in the management of this thyroid optic neuropathy. It was a retrospective study done from 2015 to 2020 in treatment nine patients presenting with this thyroid optic neuropathy in a tertiary care center in South India. Mm. The diagnosis of DOIN is based on at least one of the following clinical findings and one of the additional diagnostic examinations. One, worsening of bus corrective visual acuity in comparison with the prior visit in referred cases. In cases where the first visit took place during a suspected DON, BCVA with a pinhole being less than or equal to 6 by 6, but not owing to coronal problems or any other pre-existing eye diseases, positive RAPD and or optic disc edema, with an additional diagnostic examination of visual field testing, uh, color vision uh, by Ishihara's chart and orbital computer tomography. So the treatment protocol is once diagnosed, a loading dose of intravenous mineral prednisolone 1 gram IV OD for 3 days followed by intravenous middle prednisolone 500 mg every week for 6 pulses. After 2 weeks of starting pulse, orbital radiation was given in a dose of 20 gray in 10 fractions over a period of 2 weeks. Um, fourth, after the 4th pulse of middle prednisolone, immunosuppressant acetoyoprine was added in a dose of 50 mg once daily for 3 months followed by 25 mg once daily for 3 months. After the 6th dose of intravenous middle prednisolone, oral steroids in a dose of 30 mg per day for 1 month with the monthly tapering was added. Patient was followed up every week for the six doses of pulse, then monthly for four months and then three monthly. At each visit, each visit vision, color vision, intraocular pressure and fundus was evaluated. Blood parameters were also monitored for diabetes mellitus and liver function. The main outcome measures were improvement in visual acuity, color vision and improvement in visual fields. So we had 11 eyes of nine patients aged 47 to 73 years with a mean of 57.5. Males outnumbered females in our study. The follow-up was ranging from 12 months to 15 months with an average of 26 months. All patients were hyperthyroid and color vision was abnormal in all eyes. RAPD was present in 7 eyes. Two patients had bilateral DON, so the pupil was sluggish and RAPD could not be assessed. The coming to the pre-treatment visual acuity, 36.4% uh, of eyes had uh, visual acuity which is 6 by 60 to 6 by 18. Whereas um, three eyes had visual acuity less than 6 by 60. Visual fields were done on day four. Only seven eyes we could do, and four eyes had inferior defects, but two had normal fields. Disc edema was present in 36.4%. Uh, coming to the post treatment visual acuity, 100% uh, almost all patients required good visual acuity, that is between 6 by 18 to 6 by 6. Only one patient had 6 by 12, that was due to the corneal um, dry eye. So this is a case, he is 47 years, presented in November 2017, he was hyperthyroid, left eye compressive optic neuropathy, vision 66, color vision 15 by 21 and RAPD, fundus showed disc edema, fields were relatively normal, he was treated with triple therapy and this is his follow up picture, disc edema has resolved, few coral folds were persisting, fields retained. This is another patient, 61 years, again bilateral compressive neuropathy with inferior altitudinal field effect and after triple therapy, fields were improved and vision and color vision also regained. Complications, drug related nil, one, two eyes had radiation induced uh, dry eye. So decided optic neuropathy as per OPRS 2018, there is little evidence regarding the optimum management strategy. Role of steroids, it is anti-inflammatory, first line treatment, but effects can be partial and short lived. Response rates range from 45 to 83%. Orbital radiotherapy combined with the steroids in one study, 93.3% did not require any decommissioned surgery in the acute phase. Immunosuppressants as a steroid sparing drugs, I have used Azura because it is uh, cheap and well tolerated. Decompression again success rate is variable and has got complications. 
So why combination therapy, complete visual recovery, no recurrence, augment the effects, synergistic action, less side effects, no surgery related complications and finally it improves the quality of life also. So small sample size. So to conclude the study adds sequential combination therapy using steroids, orbital radiation and immunosuppressants can attain complete and persistent visual recovery in patients with this thyroid optic neuropathy. It can avoid acute phase surgical decompression and related complications. Thank you. Uh, in the treated patients, no. In the other eye of the treated patient had uh, compressive optic neuropathy. Other eye of the treated eye.